What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you how to find unique items in Skyrim. Today I will be showing you how to find Otar's Dragon Priest Mask. It gives you 30% resistance to all elemental magic, so it's a pretty solid item. It's also part of a puzzle which I'll tell you about later. We will be discovering the legend of Otar himself too. To join this epic venture, you must come here to the far west of Skyrim, Ragnavald Caverns. It's north from Markov, just here on the map. The location is pretty far out of the way, deep in the mountains. That said, when you discover it, it looks pretty grand. I mean, it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's clearly a Nordic temple, likely is home to a dragon priest too. But let me tell you about Otar. Otar was an ancient Nordic chieftain who ruled over a city, in fact this city, Ragval, in the Maethic era, back when this place was used as a city. Initially he was believed to be a fair ruler and successful in battle and loved by his people, but his mind was corrupted by an unknown force that drove him to insanity. Otar became a dragon priest and subjected his people to a great cruelty. Obviously, other people knew about this, so two Nordic heroes named Sarek and Torsten were sent up to stop his tyranny, or what had become a tyranny. Unfortunately for the inhabitants of Ragnvald, both heroes were unable to defeat Otar, so instead they sealed him in a large sarcophagus in this very location, and they locked it with two skulls that were uniquely made key that each of them kept. They then pledged to guard the keys so that Otar may never escape his imprisonment. This is the first Draga I've ever seen that looked like it's poisoned itself, which is pretty strange. I didn't even know they were capable of suicide, but... And the city was eventually abandoned, but Sarek and Torsten remain as his guardian. We of course want the mask for ourselves, so we must free him. And as we go through this dungeon, you're going to notice the story behind it and how it kind of comes to life and why the dungeon's laid out in this certain way. If you're interested in Dragon Priest lore, I actually have a cool video I made on it which you guys can check out. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Hmm. Guess they are. I can hear a trap now. So I'm going to take extra care. Oh, there's a Death Lord. Let's take him out. There we go. Right, so I think we we go down here. There's a chest. Just gonna get have a look at this alchemy lab. Oh, you can hear someone else moving about. I just can't see them. So some ectoplasm, fire salts, and void salts are always expensive. So we'll grab those. So we come over here. It's actually a chest hidden away. And I think this is where the noise. Yeah, that's where the traps are. Okay, you ready? Uh, no idea how that didn't hit me. So we'll just turn that off. Oh crap! Whoa, that was a sick kill cam. I didn't even mean for that to be a kill cam, but um, okay, awesome. So we've got a chest here, and it's got seven gold in it. It was hardly even worth coming here. And there's a dead Draugr who obviously ran into the trap like a retard. So then, let's have a look further on, see if we can find anything else. I can hear someone moving around. Hmm. There's a lot of oil everywhere as well. Let's take out this guy. He doesn't know I'm here. He's not gonna, oh, he is on fire, there we go. Luckily I paralyzed him in the fire, so he took even more damage. Oh, did not mean to jump down here. Well, there is a treasure chest over here, so that's good news. Flawless Ruby, and um, Potion of Healing, good. Good, good. I don't even use potions anymore, so... Ah, this must be the sarcophagus. And I'm guessing we have to get the skulls to open it. 
And there's a boss chest over there. So that must be the end of the dungeon. So I'm guessing we have to explore the rest of the dungeon before we can open his sarcophagus. Can't see any more enemies around, so... I think what we'll do is we'll go this way first. It's telling me to go through that door. Oh, there's another Death Lord. Take him out. I do like the random paralysis effect. Haha! <laughs> he got sent over the wall. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, I can see someone else up there. Let's see if I can kill him. Almost. There we go. <laughs> I like how they just fall into the water. Just jump up here. Oh, look, there's another chest. Grab that. Oh, that was weird. It like hit the wall, even though it was should have gone past it. Hello. They look very like the uh, white ones, the Draga. Just have a quick look over here, because there's a health potion and a soul gem. Oh, and there's a drought of the night. Not so sure if that's a heavy armor potion or what. Carry on then. So if we come over here, there's a rather strange lever. Aha! I'm guessing that lowers the bridge. Yeah, okay. That's good. What's in here then? Oh, there's a trap there. It's gonna... Oh, you have to unlock the trap. I'm just gonna open the door and trigger the trap. There we go. It's a lot easier than trying to watch me lockpick it. Okay, so there's actually a secret boss chest in here, which is good news. Um, enchanted shield, ebony war axe, gold. Okay, nothing great for me. Right, let's cross back over so we can um, get over the bridge we just opened. Here we are. I'm guessing we're going right then. Aha! That must be the skull on a platform. And there's a dead drag there, so that doesn't bode well for us. Thing is, I can't see any enemies yet, so I'm guessing, as soon as I pick this up, the so-called guardian is going to appear. Ah, here we go. See if we can sneak attack him. So this is Torsten. And he's bloody... Oh, shit, I didn't realise there was a staircase there. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Torsten's... Oh, my God, everyone's just summoning Frost Atronox. This is not very nice at all. I am not a fan of your Frost Atronox, Torsten. It's right behind me. Oh my goodness, please die. So we'll take out Torsten, he's dead. Now we'll take out this guy. And we'll just kite the Frost Atronox just because they're so slow, so... How many arrows are you going to take to the face, my friend? Quite excessive to have a boss fight with two mages on his side as well. This guy just takes the arrows to the face like a bloody man. Okay, he's dead. So, where does Torsten go? I want to see if he's got anything in his... No, just an Asian Nordic sword. Nothing special. Alright then, we can head out of here now. And I'm guessing we can put one of the skulls in the case, but we have to go on the other side of the dungeon to get to the next one. That is a trap, by the way, but I have the perk that means that I don't stand on traps. Oh my god, unless I do that. Shit. Unless you fire an arrow at it, because I'm retarded. But we can stop it with that lever. I was in the middle of the room, fired an arrow at it, and I was like, uh, fuck. Did not want to do that. So that's all the chests in this area that we found if you were following this video. 
Let's go back into this main temple. So, oh, okay, that's why we had to go downstairs instead of upstairs. Because you can't open it from the other side. So let's put this skull in his coffin and see. I'm guessing one of them opens. Aha, ooh. Okay, so it's unlocked this side now. It's a pretty cool chest, isn't it? Okay, so we'll go to the next side of the dungeon, which I'm guessing is this way. Where the arrow is telling me to go. And then we'll see what we find. I can hear someone down there. There he is. Sneaky deaky. Uh, some health potions and lots of flour. So it looks like that corridor is quite safe. This one has like a fuckload of traps on it. I wonder what happens if we... Okay, so there's lots of arrow traps down there. So we're just going to go this way because it's much safer. And there's a coffin. Nothing in there. There are lots of dead bodies here, and I'm guessing some of them are drag. Oh yeah, here we are. Uh oh. Go back to sleep, please. Oh shit, there's one behind me. I thought there was one behind me then. Scary. Whoa! Hi, pal. Luckily, I am basically invisible. Whoa, okay, that was weird. He, like, got up like a puppet or something. <laughs> that was very strange. Please, can you die? Anyway, I was going to tell you guys about um, the puzzle that you can solve by getting this Dragon Priest mask. Because there is indeed a puzzle. And if you get, I think it's all eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it is eight. I might be wrong there, though. But I'll link the video in the description. And once you get all eight, you put them on this platform that's hidden away in um, Labyrinthian or just outside it. And then you can unlock a secret dragon priest mask that that like spawns once they're all together. Try and kill this guy. There we go. And there's another treasure chest. So we'll get that. And it's trapped, so take care because there's some spikes here. I think I'm going to get hit by one actually. Oh, that was close. And there is, I think that's a restoration skill book there. Which I don't need because I've got 100 restoration already. Um, yeah, so you put all these masks, once you've collected them all, on this platform. And it will spawn this unique mask. And what this unique mask does, as well as look absolutely awesome, it's got like two tusks coming out of it. Um, when you when you almost die or are about to die, it will regenerate all your health or at least most of it. So it's very good. So let's take this last skull. And this must be Sarek. Where are the other ones? Let's see if we can set this guy on fire. Oh I missed. There we go. And oh he's coming downstairs, so we can just kill him. Sorak doesn't know what's going on. This guy apparently does. What is Sorak doing? He's like standing against this wall. Goodbye. You were too slow, Sorak. I'm sorry. You must now pay the price of your insolence. Now, what is Sorak holding? He's He's got five Daedric Ares, which I fired into him. And they, he has a crappy chest with five gold. That's terrible. Alright then. There's nothing else up here or up there. So I'm guessing we go back this way. And across this bridge. And that must be the way out.
Here we are. Okay, so we're back in the main chamber, and now I'm guessing we can open this coffin. And to be honest, I don't really want to be standing next to him as we open it, but I don't think we have much of a choice. So I'm going to stand here, put this on, and move the fuck away. Oh my god. Get the sneak attack on him. Otar the mad. So he did indeed go mad with his rage and hopefully I can just, he won't ever find me. He's pretty pissed. He's been locked in that sarcophagus for a long time. But he does not know I am here as I am very sneaky. We'll, we'll let him have a chance. Whoa, he does a lot of damage. Look at that. Oh, he missed. <laughs> Come back here. Where are you going? Hit me again, come on. A day. Oh god, he's getting a staff out. He means business now. His staff didn't do as much damage. But this guy is in fact level 50, so... Well, I'm, I'm level 150, but there's Otar's mask. And now we can unlock the boss area. Oh, it's already unlocked. Okay, so you kill him and it unlocks for you. I wonder if we can take these keys back. Oh, we can! That's awesome! So we can put those keys in our house as like a unique sort of treasure item. Oh look, there's a hidden chest over here too. Great. Let's grab this one first. And we'll have a look what's in that boss chest. Nine gold! Thank fuck we looked there. Doubled my life savings. A glass bow, 250 gold, and restoration reduction spell. And we have a word war as well. Ooh, okay. Not sure what this is. Kind Peace. I think that is a... We'll have a look. I think it's a shout power that allows you to make animals come close to you. Or something like that. Uh, the voice soothes wild beasts who lose their desire to fight or flee. And I think once you have all the shout powers for that shout, you can actually make wild beasts your friends. So they'll actually follow you and do your bidding. Or like attack people and save you and stuff. You can do a quest for this hunter who worships it. And I'll leave a link to that in the description as well, because that's a very, like, sort of law-friendly quest that you guys... So the only way out is the way you came in. I hope this video helps you guys out. Make sure you subscribe for more interesting locations, unique weapons, and build guides. You can also like my Facebook page to stay up to date with the latest news and giveaways. That's all for now, but you can check out the description for some more interesting videos, and I will see you in the next one.